Hey y'all, so while I was doing research on some more cases, I came across a few celebrity scandals and murders that I figured I might as well do a little segment on those too. Now one of those involved Merlin Santana. If you remember him in the 90s, he was every teenage girl's dream. He was Rudy's little friend on the Cosby show. He was Ohaji on Moesha. And then he went ahead to become Romeo on the Steve Harvey show and of course there was no shortage of girlfriends for him there either but in case you didn't know or maybe it slipped your mind the actor who played Romeo Merlin Santana was murdered in Crenshaw California at the age of 26 so let's just go ahead and get into the story at some point in 2002, Merlin met a lady who told him that her name was Mercedes and she was 21 years old, when in actuality, this was a 15-year-old girl whose real name was Monique King. Merlin and who he thought was Mercedes had a consensual one-night stand, and afterwards, apparently, he changed his mind, decided he didn't want to deal with her, so he stopped talking to her. Monique then went and told her real boyfriend... 21 year old Damien Gates that Merlin had actually raped and sexually assaulted her. Angry, Damien and another man, Brandon Bynes, decided that they were going to go out and kill Merlin in Monique's honor. Now, police reports that uh, Merlin's death was actually the result of a botched robbery in which Monique was still involved. Whatever the case, Brandon and fellow child, uh, I'm sorry, Merlin and fellow child actor Brandon Adams, that's him over here, were sitting in a car when they were ambushed by Gates and Bynes. Gates had a shotgun and uh, Bynes had a handgun and they immediately began firing bullets into the car. Uh, Merlin was hit once in, uh, by one of the bullets in the back of the head and he died instantly. And then after Merlin had been killed, Monique's trifling self decides to go and tell them that she had lied and made the whole rape story up. Mm. Now I know we always talk about trifling men, but there are some equally as trifling women out there and Monique King proved to be one of them. Her boyfriend, Gates, got three consecutive life sentences plus 70 years in prison, while Bynes pled guilty and was given a 23-year prison sentence, and Monique, well, she got off easy with only 10 years in a juvenile facility since she was underage. In my opinion, she should have been given life in prison as well. Let this be an important lesson to watch who you lay down with.